Well, for more now on the global obesity epidemic, I spoke with Dr. Eric Deng, epidemiologist and nutritionist at the Harvard School of Public Health. I began by asking him what were the main factors driving high obesity levels in China? Well, I think China has developed economically very much in those many years. Um, it's a combination of sed more sedentary lifestyle. Um, farming is less important than it used to be. Uh, an increase in Western diet, influx of uh, KFC and Pizza Hut and the McDonald's. But it's also, I think, the, the, the Westernization of this diet is, is replacing the traditional Asian diet in many ways. And certain things like sugar-sweetened beverages has really skyrocketed. And that has actually caused actual weight gain beyond, in certain magnitudes, as beyond uh, measure. And so these kind of economic shifts and completely uh, shifting Western lifestyle, it's being adopted at epidemic proportions. And, you know, China is where basically the United States was back in the 70s, but soon it's going to reach where the United States was in the late 80s, in the, in the very near future. So I think we're just at that cusp of that exponential boom in obesity in China. Right. You mentioned the westernization of diets in the developing world. You mentioned the uh, role that sugar plays in that. Could it also be, you know, the consumption of more processed foods right now, as well as the sedentary lifestyle of uh, many people in the developing world. You know, yeah. They're watching more television right now, they're using cars more absolutely. often, they're using other kinds of transport rather absolutely. than walking. China, absolutely. China used to be the, the nation of bicycles, and now it's the nation of cars. China actually sells more cars than uh, the United States. Uh, and so these kind of economic shifts of modality of transportation, of the type of work that you do. And more service-based means more sedentary. And, and everything in, in terms of food, it's actually the amount of calories um, that can be purchased now with uh, a, a, any given dollar, it's actually skyrocketed. You can actually buy incredible amounts of cal calorie-dense foods at a fraction of, a, of what it used to cost. You know, China has changed from a country with Famines um, uh, uh, frequently in the p in the past half century to now a, a country of absolute plentiful. Right. Let's look at another region of the world that we reported on, and that's the Middle East, specifically the United Arab Emirates uh, in the Gulf. The UAE now ranks fifth on the World Obesity Index. Now that tells us that on the one hand, you know, you might have development, you might get rich very quickly, but with prosperity comes this downside that you're going to have health problems. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and that. Actually, in the Middle East, the obesity and the diabetes uh, epidemic is skyrocketing faster than any other um, place in this world. They actually estimate that one in three people um, are now diabetic, and soon one in two people will actually be diabetic. Not just overweight or obese, but diabetic in the next uh, 20, 30 years. And it really is um, the cultural uh, development, especially UAE. Uh, you know, it's one of those high wealth Gulf states that society is completely changed. Everyone, you know, all, most Emiratis have s servants that do a lot of these manual labors and, uh, and activities around the house that they otherwise would have. So th the society has completely changed from uh, a Bedouin society um, to a society of really, really fast westernization, faster than China, I would say.